What is IPsec and how does it work? By Abhimanyu Gautam. What is IPsec and how does it work? IPsec is an Internet Engineering Task Force, IETF, standard suite of protocols that provides data authentication, integrity, and confidentiality as data is transferred between communication points across IP networks. IPsec provides data security at the IP packet level. A packet is a data bundle that is organized for transmission across a network, and it includes a header and payload, the data in the packet. IPsec emerged as a viable network security standard because enterprises wanted to ensure that data could be securely transmitted over the Internet. IPsec protects against possible security exposures by protecting data while in transit. IPsec Security Features IPsec is the most secure method commercially available for connecting network sites. IPsec was designed to provide the following security features when transferring packets across networks. Authentication, verifies that the packet received is actually from the claimed sender. Integrity, ensures that the contents of the packet did not change in transit. Confidentiality, conceals the message content through encryption. IPsec Components IPsec contains the following elements. Encapsulating Security Payload, ESP provides confidentiality, authentication, and integrity. Authentication Header, A provides authentication and integrity. Internet Key Exchange, IC provides Key Management and Security Association, SA, Management. Encapsulating Security Payload, ESP. ESP provides authentication, integrity, and confidentiality, which protect against data tampering and, most importantly, provide message content protection. IPsec provides an open framework for implementing industry standard algorithms, such as SHA and MD5. The algorithms IPsec uses produce a unique and unforgeable identifier for each packet, which is a data equivalent of a fingerprint. This fingerprint allows the device to determine if a packet has been tampered with. Furthermore, packets that are not authenticated are discarded and not delivered to the intended receiver. Authentication Header, A. A provides authentication and integrity, which protect against data tampering, using the same algorithms as ESP A also provides optional anti-replay protection, which protects against unauthorized retransmission of packets. The authentication header is inserted into the packet between the IP header and any subsequent packet contents. The payload is not touched. Although A protects the packet's origin, destination, and contents from being tampered with, the identity of the sender and receiver is known. In addition, A does not protect the data's confidentiality. If data is intercepted and only A is used, the message contents can be read. ESP protects data confidentiality. For added protection in certain cases, A and ESP can be used together. In the following table, IPHDR represents the IP header and includes both source and destination IP addresses. Security Association IPsec introduces the concept of the Security Association, SA. An SA is a logical connection between two devices transferring data. An SA provides data protection for unidirectional traffic by using the defined IPsec protocols. An IPsec tunnel typically consists of two unidirectional SAS, which together provide a protected, full duplex data channel. The SAS allow an enterprise to control exactly what resources may communicate securely, according to security policy. To do this an enterprise can set up multiple SAS to enable multiple secure VPNs, as well as define SAS within the VPN to support different departments and business partners. Mode SAS operate using modes. A mode is the method in which the IPsec protocol is applied to the packet. IPsec can be used in tunnel mode or transport mode. Typically, the tunnel mode is used for gateway-to-gateway -gateway IPsec tunnel protection, but transport mode is used for host-to-host -host IPsec tunnel protection. A gateway is a device that monitors and manages incoming and outgoing network traffic and routes the traffic accordingly. 
A host is a device that sends and receives network traffic. Transport mode. The transport mode IPsec implementation encapsulates only the packet's payload. The IP header is not changed. After the packet is processed with IPsec, the new IP packet contains the old IP header, with the source and destination IP addresses unchanged, and the processed packet payload. Transport mode does not shield the information in the IP header, therefore, an attacker can learn where the packet is coming from and where it is going to. Tunnel mode, the tunnel mode IPsec implementation encapsulates the entire IP packet. The entire packet becomes the payload of the packet that is processed with IPsec. A new IP header is created that contains the two IPsec gateway addresses. The gateways perform the encapsulation slash decasulation on behalf of the hosts. Tunnel mode ESP prevents an attacker from analyzing the data and deciphering it, as well as knowing who the packet is from and where it is going. Key Management IPsec uses the Internet Key Exchange ICE, protocol to facilitate and automate the SA setup and the exchange of keys between parties transferring data. Using keys ensures that only the sender and receiver of a message can access it. IPsec requires that keys be recreated, or refreshed, frequently so that the parties can communicate securely with each other. Ike manages the process of refreshing keys, however, a user can control the key strength and the refresh frequency. Refreshing keys on a regular basis ensures data confidentiality between sender and receiver. Understand the process before you begin. This manual provides examples of how to configure a secure IPsec VPN tunnel. This document assumes the reader has a working knowledge of Netgear management systems. Netgear Incorporated is a member of the VPN Consortium, a group formed to facilitate IPsec VPN vendor interoperability. The VPN Consortium has developed specific scenarios to aid system administrators in the often confusing process of connecting two different vendor implementations of the IPsec standard. The examples in this manual follow the addressing and configuration mechanics defined by the VPN Consortium. It is a good idea to gather all the necessary information required to establish a VPN before you begin the configuration process. You should understand whether the firmware is up to date, all of the addresses that will be necessary, and all of the parameters that need to be set on both sides. Try to understand any incompatibilities before you begin, so that you minimize any potential complications which may arise from normal firewall or WAN processes. If you are not a full-time system administrator, it is a good idea to familiarize yourself with the mechanics of a VPN. The brief description below in this document will help. Other good sources include